Okay, so when you mill your cylinder head, sometimes you need to get an adjustable cam gear to put your cam back in phase with the crankshaft. And this is why. The, you remo when you remove material from the cylinder head, you're effectively shortening the distance between your camshaft and your crankshaft. So this applies to both timing belt and timing chain engines uh, and dual overhead cam engines. Uh, so if you move these two closer together, you will put slack in the belt at both sides. You take up the slack by tightening your tensioner. Now, when you tighten your tensioner, you put all the slack on this side, which means you rotate the camshaft this way, slightly. Uh, the amount that you rotate it is equal to the height that you mill off of your cylinder head or your uh, block deck. Um, the actual distance between your camshaft and your crankshaft doesn't matter. What matters is the radius of your cam gear and the amount that you mill off. Uh, and that gives you a nice triangle. There's your radius. There's your height, there's your hypotenuse, and this is the angle that you want. This is how much out of phase uh, or retarded your cam will be. Um, and if you use this fun formula, this will give you the number of degrees. Uh, assuming you have your calculator set to degrees and not radians, uh, don't let that trip you up. Um, in the case of my engine, um, I've got about a five inch diameter cam gear, and uh, which is a 2.5 inch radius, and I milled 40 thousandths off the head, which gives, gets me just about one degree of, uh, of phase change on my camshaft. That's not really enough to bother with an adjustable cam gear. Uh, it might be something I look into eventually. Yeah, your results may vary.